In this video, we'll learn how to download and install a contributed library in P5.js. So I'm on the p5js.org website, and I'm in the library section. You can get to this through the libraries link in the navigation tab. I'm going to scroll down here and take a look at our contributed libraries. Uh, the one that we're going to look at today is called p5.clickable. So this is a great little library. Uh, it's very easy to use, and we can make buttons with it in our P5 sketches. I'm going to go ahead and click on the link here. And this jumps us right into the GitHub page for this code library. Now, sometimes we'll be taken to an additional reference page that still lives on the P5.js website. In this case, we're going directly to GitHub. That's where this code is stored and where uh, the developer can make changes and post them for the public. So if we scroll down here, I can see the files that are associated with this code library. And then I can see the readme file, which gives us lots of good information in terms of what this library does and how to use it. So in this case, our reference for this library is right here on GitHub. So my first step towards getting this into my P5.js sketch is to download the code. So up here in the upper right corner, I'm going to click this code button and just download a zip file. Okay, I can see that's downloaded. I'm going to jump into my downloads folder. And I can see that the zip file has downloaded. I'll need to extract that into an uncompressed folder. And on a Mac, I can do that just by double clicking. So now I have this folder. And within that, I can see I've got some examples, some images, and then a library folder. So it's inside that library folder where the code that we'll need to add to our P5 sketch lives. So we've got that set up. Let's jump back to our browser. And I'll go ahead and bring up a new blank sketch in my P5 web editor. So I'd like to uh, click on the button in the top left corner, right underneath the play button. And we'll need to add a folder for our code libraries, and then we can upload them there. So I'll click the drop down next to sketch files, and let's create a folder, and I'll call this libraries. Then next to that libraries folder, I'll click the drop down and upload a file. Then for my downloads folder, I'll go into that uncompressed folder and into the library folder. And I'll shift click to grab both of these JS files. So I have p5clickable.js and p5clickable.min.js. Let's go ahead and click open. And I can see those are now both uploaded to my sketch folder. So once we've uploaded our code for our libraries, we need to make sure that those files are included along with our sketch.js. So let's go into index.html. And here, uh, I just need to add an additional line that's gonna look sort of like this, where we're starting with the script tag, and then we're linking to the clickable library JavaScript files. And that way, we'll make sure that all of that code for our library is included along with our P5 sketch. So I'm just going to highlight that line five and copy and just paste it right below. And I'll highlight this URL, and we'll just replace that with a link to our libraries folder, and then the JS file uh, that contains our library code. So I'm clicking delete to get rid of that URL, and I'll just type the name of my libraries folder, then a slash, and then the file name that I'd like to include. So I wanna make sure that I'm spelling all of this exactly correctly. So p5.clickable.js. That's all I need to make sure that I have my library code alongside of my sketch code. Let's go ahead and save this index.html and jump back to sketch.js. So we've got a library installed. What do we do with it? Well, first place we're going to look is back on our reference page. Now, in this case, uh, the documentation is really good. So I have this nice little snippet of code that I can select, copy, and paste right into my sketch. So I'll go ahead into my setup block, paste that in, and let's go up to the edit menu and click tidy code so that looks a little bit neater. So let's hit play and see what happens. Well, I don't see anything uh, in my sketch. That's a clue to me that I need to probably think through this code a little bit more and go back to the reference and see what I'm missing here. So I can see here, I'm making a new clickable object. I'm setting its location and I'm setting some behavior that should be triggered when the button is pressed. What I think might be missing though is something in the draw block to make sure that that button shows up on screen. So let's jump back to our reference page here. 
And here we get some nice explanations of each of those lines that are in our example snippet that we just pasted in. Uh, okay, so I see here under the heading for displaying a clickable, uh, in my draw block, I need to have something like this where I say my button dot draw. So that makes sure that our button object is displayed on the sketch canvas. So let's go ahead and paste that here. Okay, so I see a button. It's got some default styling attached to it. Let's go ahead and press it. <laughs> and I can see I get a JavaScript alert and I can see that it's changed color. And so that behavior is triggered by this function that we're attaching to the on press event for the button. So of course, uh, we've just scratched the surface of how to use this clickable library. This pretty much covers all of the basic steps. So we need to find the sketch source code, download it, upload it into our sketch libraries folder, and then link it in our index.html. So there you have it. Nice overview of downloading and installing user contributed libraries in P5.js.